Okay, what I'm going to be showing you here now is um, how to create a new project. So once your WinQS has been launched, you're going to reach this screen, which will usually pop up as the last project which you were busy with. So to create a new project, we're going to click on File, which is in the top left. We're then going to go to Open. This is going to bring you to another window where all your projects which you have currently on your server will be listed. To create a new project, you're going to select the icon at the top, which is the page. This is a generic symbol within WinQS for creating a new item. In this case, it represents creating a new project. So to create a new project, we're going to click on that. This will bring you to another window where you'll enter in all the information which you require for your project. So to start off we need to give it a code. I'm going to give it UCT123. To continue, you're going to select the tick. This will then take you to the next set of options which you can fill out. Your project area, this is quite a useful thing to put into because as you're going through your project and as you're pricing your items, it will give you a cost per square meter, which is quite a useful thing. So I'm going to make up an area. The description will be the name of the project, so I'm going to call it Example 2013. For you guys, it will be MDA Assignment. The category, this is quite a useful thing and uh, quite important, as it will determine the layout of your bill. So for you guys, Option 2 is going to be applicable, but as you can see, there's a variety of options that you can choose from. So we're going to click on Bill Production. Okay. The symbol. Another important thing to change to RANDs, VAT is set at 14%. The decimal symbol, always a full stop, the thousand symbol comma, as well as your language will be English. Default bill layout. It's important to, to ensure that this is ARC BOQ, no unit column. It's just the general layout which is used within the industry. So to save the changes which I've made, you're going to select the tick and this will take you to a new window. Here you have the option to do two things. Either you can create a blank document with no items in it, or you can copy from an existing. You clicked on that, you can then go through your that same list of projects which you saw before. So I'm going to select the startup one from WinGears. And then you have the option to select what items you want to bring through. It's going to bring, it will always bring your items in descriptions, but you could choose whether or not you want to bring with it the locations. We'll talk about that a bit later. Dim dimensions, which is quite useful maybe. And delete all hidden items. This is quite important. And again, I'll show you all about hidden items in the next video. So I'm going to select, deselect my dimensions. To continue, again, click on the tick. Okay. Okay, once the project's been created, as you'll see now, it is part of your project list. To get into the project, there's two ways you can get in. You can either double click on it, or you select the double tick, which is in the corner, ensuring that your project is selected in blue. So I'm going to double click. And this will take me straight to my project. As you can see, all my items have been set up already, which is quite great. That is how you create a new project.